here inside the small room, there's actually a secret passage you can take for the ceiling. If you check your map system, you can see where it is. So, let's go. Oops, wrong button, but I can still check. Alright. Back here, there's a chest containing Curly's underwear. Uh, uh, okay, I'm not gonna question it. Alright, so back in the chasm room where Professor Booster falls down. This time, let's go down with him. Oh, oh, what are you doing here? Really? So Misery sent you here too. <laughs> Maybe there's a silver lining after all. You see, the island floats in the sky by the power of a certain organism, and I've recently discovered its location, this labyrinth. The organism lives somewhere within this very labyrinth. If one could destroy it, this island would cease to function. <laughs> the doctor must be really in a rush to send you into the very heart of the island. Take this with you. So he'll give us the booster version 0.8. It's not version 2.0, so this is clear an earlier development. This little machine will help you fly. If you press the jump button in midair, you can hover. Used on the item screen to equip it. Phew. The minute I was sent flying, I thought it was all over. And yet it enabled me to meet you once again. Looks like my luck has run out here. I pray for your victory. And he dies. So us neglecting him and leaving him alone causes him to live, but us not but I was drop, jumping down to see if he's alright causes him to die. Video game logic. Anyway, the, boofer, the booster version 0.8 is clearly... Yeah. It's not as complete as 2.0, so you can't fly in all directions. You can only hover a little bit more up. The hover isn't, in, isn't as fast, and you can't fly for as long. So clearly it's better to wait until our Prusaus get the ver version 2.0, but I'll be using this for the rest of the game, because this is my second playthrough. After the boss fight with the core, if you didn't pick up the tow rope from the broken robot's arm, after you pass out and Curly gives you her bubble, she will be lying here, but we can't pick her up this time. So... Curly dies. Thankfully, the developer wasn't sadistic enough to hide any life capsules or missile increases in the waterway. But if you enter the waterworks cabin without Curly and you check the computer, rather than telling you that there's a notebook on the shelf that teaches you how to drain robots, you'll get this message. 4th of August, 2000, whatever. Wife bore child. I have no idea what that means, but it's just an interesting little thing you can see. No, that message will only appear if Curly died in the core room. So if Curly drowned inside of the core room, when you beat Iron Head inside of the waterway, rather than Curly floating out of your arms, you'll be bombarded by a rampaging um, herd of squid. And when you drop down here inside of the reservoir, you'll have the alien medal. Engraved with the silhouette of an alien it has no use. Again, you can only get this item if Curly drowned in the core room, and it's just there for whatever reason. Just like the clay figure medal and the mushroom badge, it serves no use to you. So as proof of concept here, if I enter the clock room, since Curly died and I have the booster version 0.8, if I try opening up the treasure chest here, it won't open. No 290 counter for me. So back to the plantation, it's time to show off a room I forgot to show in the actual let's play. Right from the entrance, if you fly up this way, there is a door here. Into the passage. These are the same blocks that Heavy Press up there crushed through when we fought him in the um, area. If you carry on going through this door, we enter the statue chamber. Halda. This basically shows you all the past wares of the crowns. And a chompne. Maya kid. And we also have the statue carver right here. And he doesn't appear to be done with the doctor's statue just yet. So this was just an interesting little room I want to show off. So I'm back to the very end of the egg corridor, and now it's finally time to demonstrate the first bad ending of Cave Story. Check the computer here, had successful. And Kazuma rises from the shadows yet again. 
blah 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 text we've already read Just hurry up with the question. Alright. So this time, I'm gonna say yes. He'll head outside. We follow him back onto the other wall. Get on. And we fly away on his Sky Dragon. Hold on tight. It's just not the same without Balrog saying it. And we fly off into the distance. And so, your escape from the island was successful. Before long, the Doctor began his attack on the Earth, using the floating island as a base. Were the countries of the Earth able to withstand the Doctor's assault? Either way, it made no difference to you. Together, deep in the heart of the mountains, far from the Doctor's reach. You and Kazuma quietly lived out the rest of your days. The end. So that was the first bad ending of Cave Story. Nothing about that seems too rewarding. The Doctor got to the surface, everybody died because of flowers. So that was the first bad ending. Next time on Cave Story, I'll be showing you guys the final, well, the fourth ending that not many people know exists in the final bonus episode of this Let's Play. See you guys then.